Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 8. This time we have HyperOS Mint 2.0 based on Android 15. So this ROM is for those people who just want HyperOS on their device. Other than that, just ignore this ROM. This is a terrible ROM. So as I always do, let's check what we are getting with the ROM. As you can see about phone and this one is HyperOS Mint. Other specification of the device you can see here, version 2.0. Android 15. The Android secret batch level is from April. Details and specs you can see here other things. So the UI is pretty much similar to all other HyperOS ROM, but the notification panel, as you can see here, a little bit different, but working well, no issue at all. So, first of all, the Wi Fi. So, I don't know what's going on. Actually, I can't really connect to my 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band. So as you can see here, it is getting very slight signal. But my other devices are working fine. If I show you my main device, so now it is connected to 5 gigahertz as you can see here. So I don't really know what's going on. Even my laptop is also connected. But on this ROM only, I'm having this issue. Other devices are working fine. Bluetooth is working perfectly fine, no issue. And also the quick share is working pretty well. But in terms of mobile networks, BoLTE and Bo Wi-Fi not working. And even there is no call recording option. I did try that. And interconnectivity feature, although it is a Bible here, but it does not work. More connectivity option, we do get few other options linked to Windows and everything. So some of them work, some of them does not work. Personalization, we do get all the typical features like AOD. So if you want AOD, AOD is available, wallpaper, theme, icon, font, and all other things are available. Lock screen option. We do get double tap to awake and double tap to sleep. So double tap to sleep and double tap to awake. So working well. And also we do get all the lock screen customization features. So if I try now, you can hold. Pretty slow actually. So customized login screen. If I check here and unlock, and as you can see here, these features are available. They are works, but pretty slow. Now other things like notification status bar, pretty much similar. Home screen, we do get all other options here. So a lot of them. Display and brightness. So Auto brightness is working perfectly fine, no issue with that. And we do get few other features here, but most of them does not work like refresh rate, display resolution and all these things. Because this is a ported ROM, so they don't really work. Sound and vibration working well, no issue with that. So it's working. Fingerprint and face scanner. Fingerprint is working perfectly fine and pretty fast and works every time actually. So the implementation of fingerprint scanner is pretty good on this ROM and we do get face unlock too and it is working although I didn't set up yet. And we do get few other options like safety emergency, privacy protection apps and in terms of battery, the battery is doing pretty well. I haven't faced any kind of drain issue or anything like that working well but fast charging is not working. Battery protection, we do get few options here, as you can see here, battery health percentage and everything. And also we do get battery protection options. So all these things are available. Additional setting, we do get few other features like circle to search. So the circle to search feature does work here, but pretty slow. So if I try now, as you can see, it takes pretty long to activate, but it is working. So you can see here, circle to search is working. And we do get few other options here. LED light, parental controls, second space and all these features are available. So that's all what we are getting in the setting panel. In terms of application, we are not getting a lot because this is a debloated ROM and there is no ads. So you will not see any kind of ads here. So pretty good in terms of that. So the camera application does work, but auxiliary cameras doesn't work. And the camera quality is pretty bad with gcam so that's pretty bad actually as you can see here it is working but the quality is pretty bad we do get leica features and everything here but useless actually and if i try gcam so it is working as you can see here no issue but the quality is not really good 
other things like in the Google Photos, we don't really get any kind of unlimited storage as you can see. There is no way you can turn it on as for now. In terms of Google Play product certification, that is also not available. Setting about, so as you can see here, device is not certified. So obviously the banking application is not going to work. Even few other applications which required certification not going to work here. The WhatsApp is working well. I did try that phone call, messaging and everything working there. No issue at all. In terms of phone call, as I said, Bo LT and Bo Wi-Fi not working. But phone call does work and the call recording is also not available. So these things are not available here. In terms of overall animation and everything, the animation does work well, but pretty slow actually. It feels really slow. Sometimes it hangs, sometimes it lags. So the animations are not really good here. Obviously, this device can't really handle this kind of heavy animations, but it's still kind of okay. So as you can see here, animations are good. In terms of gaming, this is actually pretty bad in terms of gaming. So the gaming performance is kind of okay, but it drops frame pretty badly. So if you are a gamer, don't try this ROM. This is not really a gaming ROM or anything like that. But other than that, it is usable. But for those who actually need a HyperOS 2.0 on their device, otherwise, please ignore this ROM. So if you want to try this ROM, I will put the ROM link in the description below. That's all about it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.